What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about three liquidity ratios. That is the current ratio, the quick ratio, and the cash ratio. I'll explain to you the difference between them and how to solve it using an actual example. And before we get into that, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as it is the best way to support me and my desire to bring high quality, easy to consume tutorials to you at no cost. Okay, let's check it out. So the current ratio is the ratio of a company's current assets to its current liabilities. It measures how many times the company would be able to afford paying its current liabilities using its current assets. So it's the first measure of liquidity that we look at to determine, is a company going to be able to pay off its short-term obligations using its short-term assets? In the case of Microsoft, we can see right here, the total current assets are 157,823. If you go a little bit further down on the balance sheet, we can see that the current liabilities are 81,718. So if we take the ratio and divide 157,823 by 81,718, we get a current ratio of 1.93, which indicates that using its current assets, all of the assets that can be liquidated within 12 months, Microsoft would be able to pay off almost two times its current liabilities. Now, if we wanna be a little bit more strict, there's something called the quick ratio. Now, the quick ratio is similar to the current ratio, but it only includes what we consider to be quick assets or assets that can be quickly liquidated. And there are three. Cash, of course, short-term investments that are very near maturity, and accounts receivable. So if we take a look at Microsoft's balance sheet, we could see cash of 15,646, short-term investments of 83,862, and accounts receivable of 35,833. Those are the quick assets. So if we add them all together, the quick assets amount to 135,159. And if we divide that by the current liabilities, we get a ratio of 1.65. So using only the quick assets, Microsoft would still be able to more than comfortably pay its current liabilities in the next 12 months. Lastly, we have the strictest of the three ratios, and that is the cash ratio. This is strictly a ratio of the company's cash and cash equivalents and current liabilities. It measures using the cash on hand today, how much of our current liabilities could we pay? And in the case of Microsoft, we can see that they have 15,646 in cash. The liabilities are still 81,718. So if we compute that as a ratio, it comes out to about 0.19 or 19%. So using only the cash on hand today, Microsoft would be able to afford about 19% of its next 12 months worth of liabilities. That's it for this video. I hope that you found it to be useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you'd like to learn more and take my entire financial accounting course, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my wise prep financial accounting. In that course, you'll learn all the basics of financial accounting, including all the ratios, all the different methods, and it's a very good resource. You'll also get access to the entire database of Wise Prep's courses, that is accounting, finance, chemistry, biology, whatever it is you're into at a very low monthly cost.